Hello everybody and welcome back. Today's block is going to be um, all the colors for our from our fat bundle, fat quarter bundle. Um, so for that, so this block, if you bought this book and are doing it and you did this block, God bless you because their directions are not correct. I don't know who was uh, writing it this day, but... <sighs> yeah, so I redid it a little. So if you have it and you do follow along, I'm not telling you what, I'm telling you most of what's in the book, but not all of it. So for fabric A is uh, this one and you need four, three and a half inch squares. And these are going to be our corners and I'm actually going to have this um, board off screen and I'm going to lay it out as I tell you. Uh, and then we'll show you when we get it done or yeah when we're done talking and then you're gonna need B fabric is so this is B and E no B and D and we're gonna cut these let me write that on my notes because I did not so it called for four inch squares we don't need four inch squares. We need three and a half inch squares. So we're going to trim this down. I am sorry I didn't do it already. I just got done with the other one, the black one. And quite honestly, I debated even doing it. But I already did one, so I have to have them both in this quilt. Well, I don't have to. But then I'd have to know do another block, and we don't want that. So we're going to trim these down to three and a half inches. And then you're going to, oh, wrong bucket, lay them to the side. Then you're also going to need, um, so this is blah, or B, no, this is C and E. I don't know why they did it like this, but this is C and E. And it called for seven inch squares. Well, it called for six and seven eighths, but you know me. I don't mess with them seven eighths. And then I want you to cut it in half to make um, a wild geese block. We're not doing that. That's dumb. Because none of this matched up to it. I don't, I don't know what they were doing that day. So we cut these the same as this. So these are three and a half by six and a half. So you need two like that. Three and a half by six and a half. Then... Out of your white or black or whatever your background fabric is, you need two that are the three and a half by six and a half, and you need two, or I'm sorry, three. I need to cut that also. You need one that's four by four, and three that are three and a half by three and a half. So I need to trim that because, again, I don't know what they were talking about. If somebody else has done it, I would love to see it if they did it the way their directions called for. Because I have no idea what was going on. None. Alright, so uh, apparently I lied. I didn't lay it all out. Let's do it together. So those are our corners. Oh, well let me start by showing you the block. Like I have been, I'm sorry. This is the block. So they wanted these to be seven inch squares and you just cut it in half. I don't know why we did that. I don't know why they needed to be so big either. I just don't know. So let's do it my way. So then your white rectangles are going to go here. Or whatever your background color is. Your two of your white pieces, your original two, are going to go here. Then you're going to take either one of these it doesn't matter I'm gonna put this one here and the black one there I think I did it opposite on the other one but that's okay hmm maybe I did need the four inch oh yep I do actually I don't know if I do or not because I made these three and a half so I might have to cut another one of these I'm going to put the correct measurements in the bottom. I promise. You're going to take, yeah. So I do need a bigger size on these. You'll need, 
you'll need a four inch square and a three and a half inch square because these we do have to cut in half. A four and a half inch square and a three inch square. I am so sorry. You're really in it with me now because we're doing this together. I hope you enjoy the ride. I am going to have it right on the, 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 yep. Okay, let's start at the beginning here. First, we're going to cut these three in half. Just diagonally. I'm going to cut the other in just a minute. I'm just getting these off the table. I really got to change this blade or push harder. It only catches in one spot and I don't know what causes that because it does it to me all the time. So these are going to be flying geese. And then these are going to be half square triangles. And here. So it really doesn't matter because these are going to form there wait a minute what there it is <laughs> oh did I mention the other one was pretty rough but these are going to have to I'm going to have to cut these again because I need it bigger so let me cut this in half because it is also, it's the other half of our half square triangle. And it's going to go here. Now I'm going to pause it because I don't have a lot of space. And I'm just going to cut another four inch square of each of those and cut it in half. So give me just a minute. All right. Just so you see, I just cut another half square, or you can't see. I just cut another square out of each of those that is four inches. And I'm just going to cut them in half. I had all my stuff ironed, but, you know, then I didn't have the right pieces. So there's that. All right. I know I'm off screen because my board is there, but I'm just cutting it in half, corner to corner. Now. We're going to do this one a little differently again. I'm going to iron these because everything else is ironed. So I feel like I should. So we know these go together. So instead of using my starter and stopper all the time, I'm just going to fold these over. And get them ready to go. I'm going to pop a pin in each end. Just like this. And then I don't have to use that other one. I can sew this as I'm going. While I'm piecing the others. I'm going to lay that over there. We're going to do the same up here. Maybe. I guess I don't have to get it perfect now anyway. Because I'm going to redo it when I get there. All right, those are ready. Now we're gonna do these half square triangles. I'm gonna be as easy as possible with them because they are on the diagonal. If I was making more than one of each color, I would have just done them the regular or the usual way with the square and the lines down the middle. We're gonna have a lot of this ready to go. Now with this, you have to do it one at a time. So we're going to, how did I do this? Give me a minute because this is over. I know how I did it. I used this ruler. This is creative grids. It's a corner clipper. I don't know. I don't fully know. But what I did was I lined it up here and then I clipped that off. Right. So then I know where to start it there. That's pretty big. Maybe I did it not right. Yeah, 
it's hard to see with uh, the camera going or there mm, closer so we're gonna actually I think how I did it was I just did them both that I had this I'm sorry I had this done too and I just sliced them both off I know that's how I did it and then I picked that up easily and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to pin it on this side lay it over there and I'm going to do the same for this one we're just going to lay that back where it goes <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna. I almost. I guess I have to do this one first. I'm not fully sure how to use this tool, so I'm just kind of winging it. You know, living on a prayer. That's how the song goes. I don't know. All right. Then we're going to cut that part off too. And same thing. I want to start up here. So I'm just going to pick it up and pin it on this side. But actually, I'm not even going to pin it because we're going to the sewing machine right now. So let's just lay it down and then my quarter inch seam is already my line straight so I just have it right up against my seam guide. down through all these except for when I get to the top and bottom pieces I'm only going to do one because I want the rest to filter through here pieces off the machine. Cut them off. We'll head back over. I'm gonna move this for a minute and switch this in. And then I'll cut them apart. Maybe I'll make a couple more of them project boards. I do have an old tablecloth, the Christmas tablecloth. Maybe I'll, uh, instead of using batting, cause that'll hold, the back of the plastic tablecloths or whatever you call them, I don't know if they're plastic, but they'll hold nicely. See, I may have done this wrong. Somebody tell me. I know I did it wrong because I'm supposed to have it up there. I'm supposed to have it all the way up, right? How did I get the other one right and not this one? I know how because I was supposed to sew from... No, that's right. All right. We're going to move on. If it's a little smaller, it's a little smaller. Let's trim these to three and a half. Just gonna line up the diagonal, trim a little off, flip it around, 
one of the diagonal and the three and a half now. Now you have it. Let's do the other one. One of the diagonal. Line up the diagonal and the three and a half point. All right, let's put this back. Give me just a minute. Okay, so I ripped that out, as you can see. It wasn't right. What I've done is it's a four inch square. So you need, you just need one four inch square. I'm not sure where I got the three and a half. I do apologize for these. You just need one four inch square. Half will be your half square triangle and the other half will go on here, just like this. Then you're gonna need, yeah, you'll need two three and a half inch white ones and two four inch white ones or whatever your background fabric is. Because I don't know what I'm doing. They don't know what they're doing. I got confused. I am sorry. We're just gonna fold this over and pin it. Yeah. And then we're gonna do the same up there. I went ahead and used this and trimmed that off and I'll, I'll show you because I think it'll help me in the long run. I don't really know. Again, remember the, the, the measurements I'm going to put there are the correct ones. So you're going to line this up. This is what I did. I lined this up here and I'm going to line up the bottom. And then I'm going to trim that off. And then that's what my goose looks like. So then I'm going to just pin this and you can only do these, you can only do these one side at a time. So we're going to go sew these up and another one of the, what you call it, orders. And then we're going to move on to the next one. so we can get that one off and see if I've messed it up again. Let's cut them loose. So the Top and bottom, you're going to iron one one way and one the other. So if you iron this one to the middle, the other one's going to be ironed to the outside because it's a four row block. So we're just going to open this up. See, that's much better. I am so sorry. It's a four inch square. And look how pretty that looks. So now we're going to line up the other side. I'm going to put a pin in it. I don't like doing it, but I'm going to lay it to the side. And same thing here. We're going to line it up. Put a pin in it. Let's go sew these up and the other border.
little treat for me today. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. All right, I'm just cutting it apart. Let's go back to the pressing mat. So this one's going to be ironed to the white. I could wait and do that at the end, but also I can do it now. Then you're going to iron these open. And it came out beautiful. It's amazing how that happens when you have the right measurements. Okay, I am going to trim it down. Um, wish me luck. I don't have a flying geese ruler. I would love one. I ordered one, in fact. And then they canceled it. Said it was damaged in shipping. So, there we are. So I am actually just going to lay my quarter inch line across there. And I'm going to line up. Let's move this just a hair. I'm going to line up my straight line here on the side and I'm going to trim that part off. I'm going to get me a flying geese ruler. I swear. I promise I am. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then actually I'm not going to mess with the rest of it because I don't want to. I didn't on the other one and it turned out all right. But we're going to do this. And this part. See, I got it a little bit extra there. All right, let's lay it out now so we can pin our next parts. So this matches up here. So you want your, no, this is going this way. These are wrong. These arrows are going down and these two are going up. So this is also going to go down. That's a lot. This one's going up. Three are going up like a pyramid and this one's going down. So now we just have to sew these together. So I'm going to fold this over and these I'm actually going to pin um, all of it and we're just going to continuously sew over there till we get it all done and then we'll just have our our rows to put together which is fabulous so this uh, I'm going to go back and iron these to the white it actually worked out for me because when I did the black one I ironed it to the black and I should have thought of that but I'm already all over the place on this, so if you're still with me, God bless you. We're just going to pin these. Also, if you're still with me, leave me a comment. Let me know you didn't give up on me. And then this one. So now we're just going to go sew them all up. I'm going to move that. Fabrics laying over here all willy nilly. I'm gonna cut these off so I can sew the second half of our middle two. Wow, 
still has to run. This is a long video too. Well, I hope you're enjoying yourself. We'll use this this time. Let's go back over and see what we've got once we iron them. <clears throat> All right, so this one was ironed to the inside. So let's do that again. Which makes this one iron to the outside. No, absolutely wrong. Yes, it's not wrong. Jeez. Okay, so let's, these are top and bottom. Now I want to iron these to, we'll do these to the inside because, well, there's a seam on both of them, so it doesn't really matter. And then this one we'll do to the outside, which will make our, our middle two line up. And then we just have to see where the rest go. So this goes up and this goes down. This will go up here. No, this will go down here. So that's how it's going to go. That's our block. So I'm going to fold these two down and pin them. I did do it wrong. I'm just going to iron that that way. No big deal. If ironing's the worst I've done, I'm good. We're going to pin these. The beginning or the end and both the seams. And I'll throw one in the beginning. Lay it to the side. Then we're going to fold this down and pin it. Get it to nest there. One in the end. In this seam and I'm not gonna I'm just gonna hold this one because we're going to the sewing machine and get it ready. Gonna head back over, iron them open, and these I think I did them both just towards the top and the bottom because it was less seams. I missed it there, I don't care, but I did. This one a little messy looking. So then we're just going to sew it together 
and there it is let's fold it over and if we've done it right our seams are yeah seams are going the other opposite directions which they are the last one they weren't the last one I mixed up my bottom two rows and ironed or sewed them together in the wrong order but it's okay we're just gonna sew this one up and then we are done only took forever This one it really doesn't matter I'm ironing it to this oh it's terrible there terrible 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 just kidding I love it I had it right <laughs> silly me there it is let me know what you think um, here right, there's obviously the white one then the black one I do like the black better. I don't know. I know I did those backwards, but I thought that was a lot of black in there with that. So that's why I did that. All right. Let me know what you think. I hope you make it and love it. And I will see y'all next time. Have a great day.